You know OnlyFans, the subscription-based platform that has nothing to do with porn? Of course you don't, we're not like that here. But if you do, make sure to leave your opinions, experiences regarding scams on OnlyFans so we could have more insights about the fraudulent practices on the website. So I obviously exaggerated when I said that it's basically a dedicated porn site, although there is most definitely a reason or two why it's notorious for adult content. Now OnlyFans stars make a ton of money, the porn related ones at least. One content creator, Belle Delphine, gave some insights about her earnings on Logan Paul's Impulsive Podcast. Watch this. Well, I'll just say it. I think we're all like the main people on OnlyFans are roughly earning the same, I think, from what I know. And at the moment, it's like a mil a month. Oh, what's this, you ask? My bachelor degree in film and media studies? And you know how much I make with it? Well, not a million freaking dollars a month. An other rather crazy fact about OnlyFans is that one of the stars, Bella Thorne, listen to this, made over a million dollars in her first 24 hours on the platform. Like what? Like, I chose the wrong profession. I'm... Bye guys. So it's needless to say that on a site where this much money is dealt with, there will be scams. So let's check out the most dangerous ones. The number one scam on this list is the most evil one of all. So make sure to watch until the end. Number five, fake account. What's easier than stealing photos and videos of an other girl on the internet and selling them as yours on OnlyFans? Yeah, scammers do that. Now, if the scammers actually provide good content for the fans, people who subscribe to them might not feel betrayed, but the real person in those images and videos is an ultimate victim. I mean, just imagine finding out that someone is selling your sexy photos on OnlyFans or anything about you that you wouldn't want shared like that. Ah. Horrible. These scammers also advertise themselves on sites like Hinge or OkCupid. And they might also ask their subscribers to pay them using PayPal or in gift cards. They're really doing some double scamming here. Number 4. Fake customer service. If you're an OnlyFans user and you don't have to be a perf to be one, there is different content there as well. Scammers might try to contact you pretending to be an OnlyFans customer service representative asking for additional payment information. They might do this via email or even phone. Now, if you give out information, you basically give them access to your account and financials, which then can lead to losing a lot of money. Not good. And if you're unlucky, they might use your personal information for other fraudulent practices. Now, before we move on to number three, let me share you a few interesting facts about OnlyFans. There are seven to eight thousand new content creators on OnlyFans per day. There are over five hundred thousand new users per day. And another one that's crazy, but I think it's true for all platforms, is that one percent of the content creators make. 33% of the revenue on OnlyFans. Okay, let's keep going. Number three, constantly asking for money. People are greedy and for some content creators on OnlyFans, it's not enough that people pay the subscription fee to see their content. They will constantly ask for money to see, well, extra content. Asking for premium in an already premium environment, I mean, that's a good business model. It's like girls only having lingerie photos for those who aren't willing to pay top dollar for the, let's say, more juicy content. The only problem with this is that they're asking money for images and videos that are supposed to be free if you already paid the subscription fee. Some people on OnlyFans use good-hearted people to make extra money. In the number one scam, I'll show you what they do. But first, let's look at number two. Number two, false promises. Premium girls on OnlyFans can get tips for extra content for individuals. But what some girls do is take the money and then never actually do it. They make false promises like, I'll do it later, or come up with excuses like, I've been busy, I want to do something special for you, that's why it's taking so long. But in reality, they will just never hold up their end of the deal. Number 1. Get Tripping Scam 
More and more people look and ask for financial help from friends and people on social media. And very often their scream for help is very much real. And there are dedicated websites for funding money for different causes. Now here's how the scam works. Some girls, or boys, post on their social media about going through a very difficult time. They're scared of becoming homeless, not being able to pay for food, and so on. And good-hearted people start feeling bad for them, therefore they subscribe to them and even tip them extra so they could get by and survive. And these scammers might even accept thousands of dollars from fans as a small loan. But what they end up doing is blocking everyone and taking people's money. Why are always the good-hearted people the victims? Alright, so those were the scams, now here are a few tips to avoid them. Don't give out personal information, this is universal for all scams basically. If you want to subscribe to an account, look it up first. See if it has any good or bad reviews. Don't pay for premium features. If you come across a free subscription offer, don't believe it. And of course, beware of scam phone calls or emails coming from OnlyFans customer service. Always examine the email and never give out personal information over the phone. But that was the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it could help you. Make sure to check out our other videos as well and subscribe for more content like this. And give a thumbs up. <laughs> My name is Dom. I'm gonna see you in the next video and you watched Scam Detector.